Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today we're exploring the enchanting country of Moldova. Situated in Eastern Europe, Moldova, with its landscapes and vibrant cultural heritage, has emerged from its Soviet past to carve a distinct identity. Stay with us until the end to gain a deeper understanding of the challenges and triumphs that shape Moldova's captivating narrative. Moldova is a small landlocked country located in Eastern Europe. It is bordered by Ukraine to the north, east and south, and Romania to the west. Moldova covers an area of approximately 33,850 square kilometers, making it one of the smallest countries on the continent. The geography of Moldova is varied, comprising hills, plateaus and river valleys. The landscape of Moldova consists of two main regions, the hills and plateaus in the center of the country and the river valleys and plains bordering the Prut and Dniester rivers. The central uplands range from 230 to 430 meters in elevation. The highest point is Dialul Balanesti at 430 meters. This hilly landscape occupies about two thirds of the country's territory. To the west, the plateaus slope gradually toward the Prut River and the Danube Plain. The eastern part of Moldova descends toward the Dniester River. The Dniester River forms part of Moldova's border with Ukraine in the northeast before flowing through the country and back into Ukraine. It has an extremely meandering course. Before joining the Danube, the Prut River forms most of Moldova's western border with Romania. Moldova has very few natural lakes, the largest being Lake Belu in the north. Moldova is home to approximately 2.5 million people, according to the World Bank. Moldovans make up around 75% of the population. The second largest ethnic group are Ukrainians, at around 8% of the population. Russians account for about 6% of the people. Other minority groups include Bulgarians, Gagaus, Roma, and Jews. The main religion in Moldova is Eastern Orthodoxy, practiced by around 93% of the population. Most Moldovans belong to the Moldovan Orthodox Church, which looks to the Russian Orthodox Church for leadership. Small Protestant denominations account for about 1% of the people. Jewish communities have lived in Moldova for centuries and make up under 1% today. The official language is Romanian, which is spoken as a first language by around 80% of the population. Russian is provided official status in areas with high concentrations of ethnic minorities. Russian is spoken by around 14% as a first language and by over 50% as a second language. Other languages include Ukrainian, Gagaus, Bulgarian, and Romani. Moldovan cuisine reflects various influences, including Romanian, Russian, Ukrainian, Balkan, and Eastern European traditions. It features hearty, comforting foods made with simple ingredients like meat, dairy, vegetables, and bread. Mamaliga is considered the national dish of Moldova. It is a thick cornmeal porridge, similar to polenta. Mamaliga can be served as a side or main dish, topped with cheese, sour cream or meat. It is peasant food that provides energy and carbohydrates. Koltunashi are cheese-filled dumplings made from egg dough. They can be boiled or fried. The classic version is stuffed with salty brined cheese, like feta or cottage cheese. Kultunash makes for a warm, comforting meal or snack. Ziyama is a hearty Moldovan chicken soup loaded with meat, vegetables and noodles. It gets flavor from chicken broth, carrots, onions, parsley and bay leaves. Ziyama is often served as a starter but can stand alone as a meal. Samale are stuffed cabbage rolls and a staple of Moldovan cooking. 
Minced meat and rice are wrapped in cabbage leaves and simmered in tomato sauce. Ground pork is typically used, but the filling can also be beef and lamb. The region that is now Moldova has evidence of human settlement dating back to the Paleolithic era. In antiquity, it was inhabited by Dacian tribes until the Roman conquest in 106 AD. The area came under the influence of the Byzantine Empire after the Roman withdrawal. From the 6th to 14th centuries, a series of nomadic peoples, including the Huns, Avars and Mongols, invaded the region. In the 14th century, the territory came under the control of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, followed by the United Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Ottoman Empire expansions led to centuries of skirmishes over control of the area between Ottomans, Russians and Poles. This constant warfare and shifting borders was devastating for local populations. In 1812, the eastern region of Moldova was annexed by the Russian Empire. The western part remained under Romanian control. In 1918, they united with Romania but was reclaimed by the Soviet Union in 1944 and turned into a Soviet Republic called the Moldavian Soviet Socialist Republic. As the USSR dissolved, Moldova declared independence in 1991. The transition to a market economy and democracy has been slow and unequal. Conflict erupted in 1992 over the Russian-backed separatist region of Transnistria, which remains unresolved. Moldova is one of the poorest countries in Europe with an economy that has struggled since their independence in 1991. The World Bank estimates that its GDP is about $14 billion. Agriculture is about 15% of Moldova's GDP and employs around 25% of the workforce. Main crops include fruits, vegetables, wine, wheat and tobacco. Moldova is a major global producer of fruits like plums, peaches and cherries. However, poor irrigation and infrastructure limit the sector's potential. The industrial sector makes up around 20% of GDP. Key products include machinery, electrical equipment, textiles, chemicals, and processed foods and beverages like wine. Moldova needs access to raw materials and remains dependent on imports of energy resources. The services sector comprises about half of GDP, Tourism is centered in urban areas like the capital Chisinau. Wine tours and rural tourism have growth potential. Remittances from Moldovans working abroad are equal to over 25% of GDP. Moldova relies heavily on trade with partners like Russia, Romania and other Eastern European states. It imports most of its energy supplies from Russia. Exports include agricultural goods, textiles and machinery. Moldova is a small landlocked country in Eastern Europe that has been influenced and shaped by the geopolitics of its location between Romania and Ukraine. A breakaway region called Transnistria has been key to Moldova's geopolitical situation since declaring independence in 1991. Moldova's culture and language lean towards Romania, but it relies on Ukraine and Russia for energy. This balancing act between East and West is a constant theme. Its economy depends on agricultural exports, which must pass through Ukraine. This gives Ukraine leverage and influence. Transnistria is a narrow strip of land held by pro-Russian separatists along Moldova's eastern border with Ukraine, it has its own currency, army and government institutions. Peaceful resolution has failed despite years of international mediation. Russia has troops stationed there, complicating relations. Moldova's government seeks further EU integration and cooperation with NATO while balancing Russian interests. But Russian military presence in Transnistria remains the biggest obstacle. 
geopolitical competition over Moldova will likely continue as it tries to chart a course between East and West. Moldovan culture is a unique blend of Eastern European, Latin and Slavic influences. It is reflected in the country's traditions, festivals, literature, arts and cuisine. Moldovan culture has strong roots in Roman, Byzantine and Eastern Slavic origins. The oldest literary works in Moldova are religious texts written in Old Church Slavonic. Notable 19th century works include those by Alexei Matievici and Konstantin Stamati. Modern Moldovan literature achieved prominence in the interwar period. Key figures include poets Grigor Vieru and Liviu Damian. Moldovan folk arts include weaving, pottery, woodworking and icon painting traditions. Weavers use wool and decorative geometric patterns to make blankets, rugs and tablecloths. Pottery styles vary by region, from black to multicolored. If you enjoyed this video on Moldova, you'll love this next one.